New video for you tonight showing would be thieves walking right into a jewelry store putting on ski masks. The store's owner did not back down though. He actually fought the robbers with a bag filled with jars of pickles. And tonight, police are working to track down the fourth suspect accused of driving the getaway car. This fearless jewelry store owner, who's seen here on surveillance video using a jar of pickles to fight back against a group of smash and grab robbers, says he's grateful that no one was seriously injured. But now he's calling on the public to help police track down one of the four suspects who played a role in Saturday's armed robbery. In this newly released surveillance video, we see one of the suspects, a 16 year old boy, casing the jewelry store at around 4.14 in the afternoon. Then, six minutes later, the same teenager who's armed with a gun enters the business where he and two other suspects terrorize customers and employees. Yeah, they had hammers and they just smashing the glassware as you see and they were just breaking everything and grabbing all the Rolex watches. The armed thieves are in and out of the store within 90 seconds, but just as they're making their escape, the store's owner, who asked us not to identify him or his business, goes after the robbers. A brave customer also helps wrestle one of them to the ground, but his partners in crime managed to get free. Police say they eventually met up with the getaway driver who led officers on a wild chase that ended with a crash near the Glenbridge connector. Police arrested all three robbers, but as of Monday evening, the getaway driver remains on the run. We reached out to Sandy Springs PD hoping to learn more about the fourth suspect, but a spokesperson told us detectives are still looking into this case. Meantime, the jewelry store owner told us that safety is his top priority and he's looking forward to getting back to work.